right, Leo, let's jump into your reading. We're going to do a breakup energy update. Thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed, and shared. So, I am getting that whatever separation you've went through recently, they are wanting you to lean on your support system. That's how you're going to get answers. I just heard that's also how you're going to get confirmation that what you're feeling is true. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> whoever you're in separation with, this person isn't seeing anyone else, if you're wondering. But they're undecided if they want a relationship. So, it's interesting because dating, only you and then undecided come out. I feel like this person... With the dating card, it says, yeah, I'm out dating. And they make it seem like this, this person's out sleeping with other people. Now, oh, wow, look. Self-pleasure and fantasizing. Okay, Leo. Looky, looky. Do we see? That's what I'm saying. I feel like even if this person's wanting to get back in the dating scene, I feel like their effort to move on, as I put that in quotations, is maybe getting on a dating app. <clears throat> Or something like that. I feel like they're undecided if they want commitment. It's what the problem is here. I feel like at the end of the day, they know that they want something deeper with you. But I also feel like this person feels like they might not be ready. This person could also be pleasuring themselves to your photos. Somebody here could really like their neck being touched. This person could also be watching you on some social media. Yeah, new love or recommitment. <clears throat> Somebody here could be getting to know someone on a newer level. You're needing to ask yourself if it aligns with you. There could be something where someone new coming in, Leo, for you. Um, it could not align with you. Your values, your morals, your beliefs, that might not align with one another. So just make sure you're not throwing yourself in another connection to forget this person. And you're actually seeing that person for who they are. But whoever this person is that you're in separation with, I feel like you already know the answers that you're seeking. I feel like there will have to be forgiveness in this connection. And maybe there's even something here where you're needing to forgive yourself for loving this person for so long, for putting up with whatever you put up with, for letting you be in limbo while this person decides what they're wanting. Because at the end of the day, this person's got to make a choice or they're going to miss out. It's honestly as simple as that. But they're wanting you to have move, movement forward. They're wanting you to get that advice and get that clarity. Whether it's from a tarot reader, friends, family, therapist, whatever it is. Feel, feel and understand that you do have support. A lot of you could be seeing crows a lot. Crows could be a bird that you're, you're seeing a lot of right now. Because I'm hearing one right outside my window. What do we have coming in for Leo? What was the past energy for this breakup? Okay. Yeah, movement forward. Somebody could have moved out, moved away. Okay. <clears throat> Someone got out of a self-imposed prison in the past when it comes to movement and a love offer. Okay. Somebody could have opened up and been emotionally vulnerable, whether that was you or them. But that's the past energy here. Give us the overall energy now. Okay, somebody could be wanting new emotional experiences. Somebody could be opening up to the fact that they want something more. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you're dealing with. It doesn't have to. It could also be a Cancer. This person could be looking at this from a very practical and logical standpoint. Wanting to invest, <clears throat> waiting for their ships to come in. So they could be waiting for something to turn in their favor. Something that they've been investing in. They could be getting a message of truth or a message of bad news. When it comes to investment, wanting to choose a direction to build a union, but feeling like there's a lot of heartbreak and disappointment. So this person could be wanting to come back around, but your intuition might caution you. They might be like, hey, listen, make sure this ain't toxic. Make sure this is going to be consistent. So <clears throat> I see the overall energy could be that someone here is wanting things to be long-term investment worthy. And this person, whoever this is, could be feeling like maybe investments aren't paying off as quickly as they want. And they could also be turning their attention to you. But they could be recognizing, you know, there's been sadness, there's been disappointment between us. 
Maybe one time you guys had been married. Maybe you did build a family because I was seeing the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. That's like, that's husband and wife. That's building something with someone. You could have lived together. Yeah, this person could be saying that they want to actually build something. Some sort of legacy, foundation, stability. Or they could be in a place where they're trying to move out of rough waters into calmer waters. Either with family or in a financial situation and they're feeling like it's taking forever. They're waiting for their investments to pay off so they can give to love. They're feeling like it's not working. They're feeling stuck. But this stuck time is serving them because it's helping them change their perspective. So how is this person viewing you, Leo? Ooh, like sweet, sweet temptation. This person feels like you're very confident, abundant, independent, magnetic is what I just heard. How else is this person viewing you? Someone who's fair-minded, logical, just. Give me more. They could view you as some sort of wish fulfillment. Maybe they view you as someone that needs an apology. For some of you, they do recognize that you deserve an apology. For some of you, they view you as someone who maybe is younger than them. They view you as someone who's very loving, but in a very childlike way. You know, you make them laugh when you express the way that you love them. They view you as long-term investment, though. We're, see, do we find it interesting that... How the overall energy now, they're thinking about long-term investment and how they view you as long-term investment. Quality over quantity. Hmm. I've never said that in a reading before. So that might resonate with somebody. How else are they viewing you? <clears throat> Someone who's also practical and logical. Someone who's wanting movement forward. They are a little worried about giving because there is something here about needing to communicate to get through confusion and illusion. <clears throat> we have to put to rest the in and out inconsistent energy. So if this is a connection where we break up to get back together, we've got to start having a game plan on how can we not do this anymore. And it's all about communication. This person is a little worried that you're not going to want victory and success. Because you're going to be very practical and logical. And logically, it doesn't make sense for you to think that you can have victory and success with them because of things that have happened. Again, in your mind, logically, they chose you, they didn't choose you. You were an option. And when they did choose you, maybe it wasn't the best. And right now, they're in an undecided energy. And logically, in your mind, you're thinking, okay, well, if you really wanted me, you would get me. It's kind of like if I was a car on a car lot. I'm not going to sit here forever. Somebody else is going to come by me. Don't take so long. So in your mind, you're like, mm, I don't even see victory and success anymore because mm, if there was going to be victory and success, we would be somewhere by now. So you've just kind of, I don't want to say detached, but you're just kind of like, okay, well, it just kind of is what it is at this point. And that's how they're viewing you. They view you as someone who you've gone very practical and logical when it comes to this connection and practically and logically, I'm not going to get what I want. <clears throat> And maybe that's going to bring an unexpected change coming in. Give me more on that. And it could be something you've manifested. Yeah, it could be clearing up confusion and illusion. It could be having that much-needed conversation. Somebody could be scared. Somebody could be worried. Somebody could have a lot of regret. Somebody could want to voice this regret. Regret about equal give and take and maybe the lack thereof. Wanting to have the strength to bring a very grounded energy and to show how determined they are to make this work. Okay, so what's going to change this person's energy? Because we see, why, okay, hold on a second. <clears throat> why is this person wanting to get back out and date? Like, why are they kind of scrolling on their phone, keeping their options open? Why are they doing that? Wanting to make a choice. Wanting to make sure this is the right choice. Yeah, what they're doing is uncovering personal truths. What is marriage material to me? What is fun? What is stability? Whoever this is has been uncovering personal truths. So when they get into this connection with you, they know wholeheartedly that they're where they're meant to be. That's the reason that they're needing to scroll or have this time of self-reflection. And we've seen that. But in the meantime, they're fantasizing about you because you're some sort of wish fulfillment. You're some sort of star in this person's eyes. 
and some sort of cycle here being completed. I feel like you're really honest to the point with this person and even blunt. Again, very confident, independent, abundant. And there's something here where you're having victory and success, even if their eyes aren't on you. You know, even if we're not together, I'm going to thrive. I'm going to vibe. It's more of a, do you want to give me your heart or not? Like, that's your energy, Leo. Straight to the point. I'm not playing with you. Let's do this or let's not do this. And I feel like that's your intuition guiding you. And I feel like it's got you very far, if I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, Ace of Cups. It's going to get you new emotional experiences. And maybe that's the moon. Maybe just maybe you don't see it. Because you've gotten in this energy where you're getting your swag back. You're getting you're getting that energy back where you're like, you know what? I'm fresh on the scene. I'm clean. I got this. I'm good. Like, I'm the best looking thing out here. There's been a lot of growth taking place on both of your parts. But I feel like what you don't see is that it's bringing new emotional experiences. It's opening you up to not only getting what you want, but it being so much better. But you had to release it for it to come back. It kind of, what they're showing me is a kite. And it's kind of like if you don't let the kite take take fight and take that air, if you hold it too close to you and you don't let it do its thing and thrive and heal and grow, you're not going to see the beauty in a kite flying. So you had to release this and say, you know what, it is what it is. So the beauty could take place. I'm loving this. What are they desiring with you? So there's going to be wanting to take some sort of quick action. And notice how I put it right here beside the Ace of Cups. Walking towards taking a leap and bringing in a communication, maybe even with an apology. Communication that has emotion behind it, like I miss you and I care for you. That brings balance and healing. Wanting to, you know, feeling really burdened by how they feel. They don't want the inconsistency. They don't want the in and out. They don't want to be a player. They don't want to play the field. But I think they, I think this is someone who needed to recognize that the choice, no, this is someone who needed to be confident and recognize that the choice they were going to make is the choice that they needed to make. But they were scared that they were going to make a choice in maybe being with you and having this connection and then be like, oh, I don't think I'm happy. You know, at the end of the day, we all go through an energy of exploring, exploring other people. What do we want? What are we interested in? What really makes us feel safe in a connection and what doesn't? And sometimes that does take dating or getting out there and chatting with people. And I feel like for some of you, this breakup was really a, a period of growth for you guys to see one another in a different light, for you to see yourself in a different light, for you to really claim your power back. And for this person to see, you know what, I'm not missing anything. If I take action towards Leo, I'm not missing out on anything. Awakening. See, that's what I'm saying. And that's their awakening. A lot of you, this could be a soulmate energy. Something that is supposed to come back around, but there had to be a releasing and a, a mastery of... I'm hearing the master of disguise. <laughs> Has somebody watched that movie? Um, I feel like... There is a need to master your guys's yourself and to recognize that patience isn't something that's working against us. It's working for us. Time is in our favor. And when we do have to say goodbye, it isn't always a forever thing. It's so we can come back better for one another, for the connection. And maybe it's there. there's things that we need in a conversation that we don't have yet, which is why we haven't had that conversation yet. So when we separate and we go our separate ways and we learn and we grow and we come back, it's easier for us to sit down and go, okay, listen, I've done a lot of self-reflection. I see myself differently and I can say here without a doubt, maybe, you're, maybe one of you is hard to love. Maybe one of you is stubborn or has a hard time listening or putting yourself in the other person's shoes. But being able to look at one another and say those things makes it easier to love one another because you can understand each other on a deeper level. And I feel like that's what we had to get to in this connection is for you guys to be able to love each other on a deeper level. But it took getting to an understanding. But this person couldn't understand you or understand this until they understood their self. So that needs to be known. All right, Leo, we're going to leave that here. Have a blessed day, guys.